Hello, Facebook Live friends. How's it going? It's been a little while. I am on the mend. I won't say I'm feeling 100% yet, but I am feeling good. 70 degrees and a little cloudy today here in Honolulu. I am headed in to clean one of my work sites, and we are going less than five miles an hour. So I decided let's. I was going to do this on the way home after work, but let's just hop on and do it right now. So hope you guys are doing amazingly. Today we're going to be talking about courage, compliments, and criticism, but I'm going to give you guys a little life update first. Uh, Jess's outreach team is headed to the airport today to go to Asia, and I am super stoked for that team. They're going to be gone a little over a month, I think, and they're going to be working with first-generation Christians in a closed nation, and you might have heard me say closed before, but closed nation just means it's not open. Openly, uh, the government is not super stoked on having Christian missionaries there, so that's what a closed nation is. And so we, just for their security and for the people they're going to be working with, we don't broadcast the nation or specific locations that they're going to be in. So that's what I mean by closed nation. But they are headed there today. There's going to be four staff members and I think three students and two of those staff members are in training to lead future outreaches as well and this sounds a little cheesy but the whole 2020 thing a lot of people have been like it's going to be a year of great clarity and 2020 vision but I feel like it really has been already Jess and I are just doubling down on the necessity of good Bible interpretation. We've run into a couple things already this year of some people having some some drawing interpretations from Scripture that have not been made in context that make things a little wonky and then have outcomes because what you believe shapes what you do. And so when you're not interpreting Scripture correctly, then we can get to weird things. So one of those stories was a student of ours from the very first SBS that we staffed is now studying international conflict in Israel, uh, international conflict resolution in Israel as her master's program. And she messaged me just to, to thank us for the the Bible school that we ran that she was a part of. And well, we didn't run it, but we were part of it. And she just said that, sorry, there's a accident right here. She said that correct interpretation of the Bible and studying it in context could literally solve world conflicts and that I should let future students know that they're contributing to world peace by being, by studying scripture uh, inductively and in context. So yeah, we're just realizing that what we're doing with the Bible core course is really a big deal and it's really important. Jess has been having a hard time finding Bible teachers for the upcoming schools as well. And it's just like, man, if we all say that we value the Bible, but there's just this lack of Bible teachers, then what are we doing here? And so that's our heart is we want to raise up the next generation of Bible teachers who are interpreting it in context Uh, with an understanding from the original reader uh, and original writer. So, yeah, that's what we're we're doing there. But to get back to the topic of courage, compliments, and criticism, I've been thinking about this a little bit. When we encourage someone, we're giving them courage. And so I just wonder, in your interactions with other people, are you discouraging them? Are you taking away their courage? Or are you encouraging them? Are you giving them courage? to do things. So uh, this past year, I did almost 200 Facebook Lives. I was shooting for, at the end there, uh, a goal of 200, but I didn't end up making that, and that's okay. I did almost 200, which is is awesome, and I'm stoked that I I did that. But along the way, you know, different people made different comments. I heard through the grapevine that someone said what I was doing was obnoxious, Um, and it's funny that I heard that secondhand and, and not directly, so that's fine. Uh, You can think that I had, uh, you know, someone even come out right out and comment and ask me and and tell me to 
telling me to stop doing so many Facebook lives as well. And I just told that person, hey, you don't have to follow any of my lives. You can unfollow me as well on Facebook or you can unfriend me if you don't like seeing these. Um, And just so, yeah, the whole area of public speaking, I have received a lot of feedback as well with, with preaching over the past a year or two, I've been told things like my sermons don't make sense, they're not followable, they're not relatable, they're not, you know, whatever, um, all that stuff. Um, and it's interesting that negative stuff, in, at least for me, speaks a lot louder than the, the compliments that you do get. And so I wonder if there's a ratio of how many compliments it takes for, to like, I don't know, negate one criticism. And I wonder if it's like a 10 to 1 style 10 to 1 ratio or something like that. It requires 10 compliments to uh, cancel out one one critique. So some of that feedback has come solicited. I've asked people for feedback and people have given feedback and some of that has come unsolicited as well and people just give feedback. So yeah, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and um, when I'm when I'm ready to really buckle down and, and take the next step in my, in my public speaking, I will, uh, do that, but I don't have time or capacity right now to really work on that. So I'm just going to keep sharing at the level that I'm sharing at and talk about things that I enjoy talking about. The whole purpose of starting these Facebook lives was just to get my face in front of people more to practice public speaking, just to, to be out there sharing the things that I'm doing and also give little personal life updates as well. So the, the purpose of it was to give personal updates as well because we had lost so many supporters and I think a big part of that was people just weren't hearing what we were doing so uh, not only do I want to share that I want to share the things that I'm learning and how I'm I'm growing as well and just some of the practical things that I'm learning but yeah just uh, receiving non-positive feedback Um, people say I ramble people one person said that It sounds like I'm rambling when I do these. Um, And yeah, I mean, these are kind of vlog style. I'm driving and I don't have a point by point thing thought out. I'm just sharing my thoughts. So maybe that comes across as rambling, but that's okay. If you really hate these, you don't have to watch them. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing right now and not let the negativity get to me. So there it is. And I think most of the time when people give feedback, they're not trying to be negative. Uh, They're trying to be helpful. So there's that. All right. Those are my thoughts for today. I am headed to work. Be an encourager. Give people courage and don't be a discourager and take courage away from people. Honestly, I had a hard time shooting this one today because all I've got is that negative feedback going through my mind about these things, but just got to push through that and do it anyway. So there it is. All right, guys, comment, say hi, and hope you're having an awesome new year. Talk to you soon. Bye.